Hey everybody, it's NTP. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you something that might surprise you. You can actually turn a Raspberry Pi 5, a little $80 computer, into a full-blown digital audio workstation. And even use it for video editing with Kaden Live. Yep, voice recordings and video editing on a Pi. Let's dive in. So, as you see here, this is a Raspberry Pi 4. Because I don't have the, I got the Pi 5 installed down below. Yeah, let's take a look at that before we go. Alright, so here's a picture of the Pi that's actually running. Right now, the Pi 5 running the system. So first off, why bother with the Raspberry Pi? Well, it, the Pi 5 is small, portable. It doesn't guzzle power like a big desktop. I can literally run the thing off a phone charger or even a portable battery pack. And the yeah, best part is it's super affordable. For creators on a budget, or if you want a backup editing setup, this is a no-brainer. It's like having a studio that fits in your backpack. Now let's take a look of the Pi, back where we were, that shows the size of it in comparison. This is the size of a Pi. It's very tiny and takes almost no power. And when the fan's not running, it is completely silent. Completely. When the fan is running, depending on the model, it might hear a little buzz, you might not. I don't because it's underneath the desk. But let me show you what it's doing, what the other one's doing right now. All right, so here it is running. Everything's there. Now let's talk audio. With free open source digital audio workstations like a door or Audacity, the Pi can record professional quality voice tracks. That makes it perfect for podcasters, voiceover artists, or YouTubers, mm -hmm. <clears throat> intent, who don't want to drop thousands of dollars on gear. All you need is a USB audio interface, something like the Focusrite Scarlett Solio, Solo, which is like right there, or even just a decent USB microphone. Plug it in and you're ready to record. File management is simple too. You can simply save directly to your SD card or an external drive. So whether you're narrating, podcasting, laying down a vocal track, the Raspberry Pi has you covered. Now here we are in Caden Live and my last video is up there. I actually edited it in, in this uh, format. So once your voice tracks are done, it's time to edit your video. And here's where the Caden Live comes in. Caden Live runs on great on Raspberry Pi OS, and it's a full editing suite. You can cut, trim, add transitions, drop in text, titles, music, basically everything you need for a solid YouTube video. And the best part, it's free, like completely free and open source. For lightweight projects like tutorials, videos, blogs, voiceover content, the Raspberry Pi 5 handles it surprisingly well. And because it's Linux based, you're not locked into expensive subscriptions or proprietary software, hint, hint. So here's why this combo works so well. You've got audio recording, video editing on this tiny little machine. It's cost effective, it's portable, and honestly, it's a great way to learn production skills without breaking the bank. Plus, think of it as a backup system. If your main PC crashes, you can still record and edit right on the Pi. And that kind of peace of mind is actually priceless. So if you've been thinking about starting a podcast, recording voiceovers, editing your own YouTube videos, give the Pi 5 with a digital audio workstation, like whatever, like Caden Live, give it a try. It's simple, it's powerful, and it's ridiculously affordable. I'll be making tutorials on how to set up this uh, Pi step by step. Hit subscribe, ring the bell. Don't miss it. Now, I, I do have the installation stuff on our preferencewaste.com. You can go down there and look it up. Uh, I'll put some of the stuff in the description here. So take a look, you know, um, you know, subscribe and, um, you know, like and, you know, share. But this is what I use to uh, record videos or the audio stuff. We got the microphone over here, which is an XLR. Uh, Audio Teca 2020, I think, and it goes in the the Focusrite Scarlet down there. Now I do have this one over here, 
if I want to stand up and do voiceovers, which I have not used yet, but apparently you want to stand up when you do uh, audio work. Uh, it, somehow it affects your lungs and lets you enunciate much better. <clears throat> but, you know, for now, this is where we're at. This is what we're doing. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I'm happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. And I think you guys could be happy too. You know, get it set up. Uh, you put your keyboard into it, your guitar, whatever. It's small. It takes almost no power to run. <clears throat> the monitor probably takes more power. And with the little power pack, <clears throat> excuse me, with the little power pack I got that I did a couple, of a bit, a couple of videos ago on, the little DeWalt battery pack, you can plug your monitor in there, which is LCD. It doesn't take any power hardly. And then the Raspberry Pi. So if this hurricane comes, oops, keyboard went out. If the keyboard comes, or the uh, hurricane comes, and I want to lose, or if I lose power here and I want to do a video, I can. And I can edit it, you know. Instead of, oh, here, look what's going on. I can actually do it. So it works for me. And it's nice and quiet here in the theater. Or as I call it, the singularity now. But. Yeah, you know, have at it, guys. I recommend it. But go to preppersvoice.com and you can see the full workup for installing Caden Live and all that stuff and, and a lot more detail on links and all kinds of stuff. All right, guys, NCP, have a good one. NCP out.